1. Nalaya Thepu, 1992. Nalaya Thepu, a 1992 film directed by S. A. Chandrasekhar, portrays the challenges faced by Sri Vidya, a woman who endures mistreatment from her husband Radharavi, who is involved with multiple other women. Despite her difficult circumstances, Sri Vidya raises her son single-handedly. However, the situation takes a turn as her son grows older. The film received a less favorable reception and was not commercially successful. 2. Sendhura Pandi, 1993 Sendhura Pandi a 1993 film directed by S. A. Chandrasekhar, depicts the love story between Vijay and Meena. However, their plans for marriage are thwarted by the long-standing family feud involving Meena's brother. The narrative takes an intriguing twist when Senthura Pandey, who has just been released from jail, endeavors to assist his brother in achieving his romantic goals. The film received an average reception from audiences and critics. 3. Razagan, 1994 In the 1994 film Razagan, Vijay and Anato share a secret love for each other but struggle to express their feelings openly. When Anato's father becomes aware of their affection, he attempts to keep them apart. However, destiny has different intentions for their relationship. Despite its potential, the film did not perform well at the box office and was considered a flop. 4. Deva, 1995 Deva, a 1995 film directed by S. A. Chandrasekhar, portrays the love story of Deva and Bharati, who encounter significant obstacles in their relationship, primarily stemming from the girl's disapproving father. Nevertheless, they manage to conquer these challenges and eventually tie the knot. Despite its narrative, the film did not perform well at the box office and was considered a flop. 5. Rajavan Parvayalai, 1995 In the 1995 film Rajavan Parvayalai, Gauri, the daughter of a wealthy man, is in love with Raja. However, Raja consistently distances himself from her, as he has lost faith in love following a tragic incident involving a close friend and a failed relationship. The film explores whether Raja will ever reconsider his stance on love. Despite its intriguing premise, the movie did not perform well at the box office and was considered a flop. 6. Vishnu, 1995 in the 1995 film Vishnu, the protagonist Vishnu escapes from his controlling father's influence and assumes a false identity as an orphan. He secures employment with a man who eventually adopts him. However, Vishnu is confronted with a shocking and morally challenging task when he is asked to eliminate a group of individuals, which includes his own father. Despite its intriguing premise, the film did not fare well at the box office and was considered a flop. 7. Chandralekha, 1995 In the 1995 film Chandralekha, directed by Nambaraj, the story revolves around an orthodox Brahmin girl who finds herself in love with a Muslim boy named Rahim. However, their families strongly disapprove of their relationship. Despite familial opposition, the young lovers attempt to elope but end up being captured by militants in a forest. Regrettably, the film did not perform well at the box office and was considered a flop. 8. Coimbatore Mapile, 1996 In the 1996 film Coimbatore Mapile, directed by C. Ranganathan, Bolu arrives in the city and takes up residence with his friend. During his stay, he falls in love with Sumitra, his landlord. However, 
Their budding romance faces challenges when Sumitra's malevolent cousin Mahesh, who harbors his own desires for her, attempts to sow discord between them. The film enjoyed commercial success and was considered a hit. 9. Puvanakaga, 1996 In the 1996 film Puvanakaga, directed by Vikraman, a man discovers that the Hindu woman he loves is in a relationship with a Christian man. In a selfless gesture, he decides to sacrifice his own love and strives to bring their families together to ensure the success of their love story. This heartwarming narrative resonated with audiences, making the film a blockbuster under Vikraman's direction. 10. Vasanthal Vasal, 1996 <laughs> In the 1996 film Vasanthal Vasal, directed by Amar, Vijay and Divya have contrasting life aspirations. While Vijay dreams of becoming an actor, Divya strongly disapproves of an acting career and is determined to excel in academics. As the story unfolds, Vijay learns that Divya's uncle is pressuring her into acting. Unfortunately, despite its intriguing premise, the film did not find success at the box office and was considered a flop under the direction of MR. 11. Manbhumi Gumanavan, 1996 In the 1996 film Manbhumi Gumanavan, directed by S.A. Chandrasekhar, Shiva, a carefree and jovial individual, plays a pivotal role in facilitating the marriage of his two close friends, despite strong opposition from their parents. However, when one of the girls falls victim to a heinous crime committed by Madan, Shiva and his friends are determined to seek justice for her. Despite its compelling storyline, the film did not perform well at the box office and was considered a flop under the direction of S.A. Chandrasekhar. 12. Selva, 1996 In the 1996 film Selva, directed by A. Venkatesh, the protagonist Selva forms a close friendship with Kamini, the daughter of a minister who has recently relocated to his neighborhood. When a terrorist group kidnaps Kamini, Selva takes it upon himself to rescue her, but his heroic actions come at a significant cost. Despite its engaging plot, the film did not perform well at the box office and was considered a flop under the direction of A. Venkatesh. 13. Kalamelam Karthirupan, 1997 in the 1997 film Kalamelam Karthirupan, directed by A. Sundarajan, Kanan, a wealthy young man, becomes captivated by Manimakali singing in a temple and falls in love with her. However, his initial efforts to befriend her result in her anger and resentment. Now, he embarks on a journey to mend their relationship and win her back, despite the hurdles created by her hostility. Regrettably, the film did not find success at the box office and was considered a flop under A. Sundarajan's direction. 14. Love Today, 1997 In the 1997 film Love Today, directed by Balasekharan, Ganesh is deeply and obsessively in love with Sondhya, who does not share his affection. His relentless pursuit of her leads to a series of complications and challenges. However, a significant turning point occurs in Ganesh's life when he tragically loses his father in an accident. This pivotal event sets the stage for a transformative narrative that resonated with audiences, ultimately making the film a super hit under Balasekharan's direction. 15. Once More, 1997 in the 1997 film Once More, directed by S.A. Chandrasekhar, V.J., a carefree individual, enlists the help of Selvam, a senior home resident, to impersonate his father for a crucial business deal. Over time, their unlikely partnership leads to mutual growth and support as they navigate through their unique life experiences and challenges.
This heartwarming tale resonated with audiences, ultimately making the film a hit under S. H. Chandrasekhar's direction. 16. Narakuna, 1997. In the 1997 film Narakuna, directed by Vasanth, Shanti makes the difficult choice to seek a divorce from her husband, Raghu, after he admits to having an affair with another woman. This decision triggers a heated conflict between Vijay, Raghu's brother, and Soraya, Shanti's brother. The film struck a chord with audiences, ultimately achieving a hit status under the direction of Vasanth. 17. Kadala Kumari Yadai, 1997 In the 1997 film Kadala Kumari Yadai, directed by Fazil, Jeeva's love for Minnie faces numerous obstacles, including Minnie's three protective brothers who consistently confront him. Undeterred by these challenges, the determined couple decides to elope, going against the wishes of their parents. The film resonated strongly with audiences and achieved blockbuster success under Fazil's direction. 18. Ninathan Van Dai, 1998 in the 1998 film Ninathan Van Dai, directed by Kate Selva Buffy, Gokulin is driven by a vivid dream where he encounters a captivating woman, and he becomes determined to locate her. However, his father arranges his engagement to another girl. The plot becomes more intricate when Gokulin crosses paths with the woman from his dream shortly afterward. This engaging narrative struck a chord with audiences, resulting in the film achieving a super-hit status under K. Selva Buffy's direction. 19. Priya Mudan, 1998 In the 1998 film Priya Mudan, directed by Vincent Selva, Vasanth, a prosperous businessman, finds himself deeply enamored with Priya during his visit to Rajasthan. To win Priya's heart, he assumes the identity of Vasanth Kumar, a man who had previously saved her life. This intriguing tale of love and identity captivated audiences and propelled the film to a super-hit status under Vincent Selva's direction. 20. Nalav Ivar, 1998 In the 1998 film Nalav Ivar, Directed by Venkatesh, Silavai, a Christian young man, develops a deep love for Sangita, a Hindu woman who is already engaged to Raghuvaran. Sangita's father is hesitant to accept their interfaith relationship, but Raghuvaran takes it upon himself to bring them together. Despite its compelling narrative, the film received an average reception from audiences and critics under A. Venkatesh's direction. 21. Thalada Manamam Thalam, 1999 In the 1999 film Thalada Manamam Thalam, directed by Ishil, Kuti is inherently kind-hearted, but a series of unfortunate events often brings out his tough exterior whenever he crosses paths with the girl he loves. However, a strange turn of events both brings them closer and keeps them apart. This intriguing and heartwarming narrative resonated strongly with audiences, leading the film to achieve blockbuster success under Ezheel's direction. 22. Indrendram Kadal, 1999 In the 1999 film Indrendram Kadal, directed by Manoj Bhatnaga, VJ encounters Minu during a business trip to Switzerland and becomes determined to marry her. However, Minu's brother Nogaraj makes a request for Vijay to leave India and establish a life in Switzerland with their family. Despite its intriguing premise, the film did not fare well at the box office and was considered a flop under Manoj Bhatnaga's direction. 23. Nenjanal, 1999 <laughs> In the 1999 film Nenjanal, directed by S. A. Chandrasekhar, Karunakaran, facing unemployment, makes the difficult choice to work as an enforcer for a gangster. 
However, he is compelled to turn against his own gang when they conspire to harm his beloved Nisha and her parents. Despite its action-packed storyline, the film did not perform well at the box office and was considered a flop under S.A. Chandrasekhar's direction. 24. Mansara Konna, 1999 in the 1999 film Minsara Konna, directed by K.S. Ravikumar, Indira holds a strong aversion towards men and exclusively hires women in her company and household staff. However, Kasi enters her life as a driver, and gradually, his entire family becomes employed in her home, each with their own hidden motives. Despite its intriguing premise, the film received a below-average reception from audiences and critics. 25. Kanakul Nilavu, 2000 In the 2000 film Kanakul Nilavu, directed by Fazil, the story follows Gautam, a man with special needs, who arrives in Pondicherry. Hima, a carefree woman, befriends him, and with the assistance of her father, a psychologist, they delve into Gautam's traumatic past life. Despite its intriguing narrative, the film received an average response from audiences and critics. 26. Kushi, 2000 In the 2000 film Kushi, directed by S.J. Sayar, the story revolves around college friends Jenny and Shiva, who drift apart because of a misunderstanding. Despite their deep love for each other and the realization that they cannot be without one another, their pride and ego stand in the way of their reconciliation. This engaging narrative resonated strongly with audiences, propelling the film to blockbuster success under S.J. Suryara's direction. 27. Priyamanavale, 2000 in the 2000 film Priyamanavale, directed by K. Selvabharati, Vijay harbors skepticism about the institution of marriage. Despite his reservations, he acquiesces to his father's wishes and marries Priya. However, he sets a condition that he will assess the status of their marriage at the end of the year and decide whether to continue it. This thought-provoking narrative struck a chord with audiences, ultimately leading the film to achieve super-hit status under K. Selva Bharati's direction. 28. Friends, 2001 In the 2001 film Friends, directed by Sadiq, the story revolves around three close friends who prioritize their friendship above all else. However, their bond begins to unravel when one of them discovers a shocking incident from their shared past. This compelling narrative resonated strongly with audiences, catapulting the film to blockbuster success under Sadiq's direction. 29. Bodri, 2001 In the 2001 film Bodri, directed by P.A. Arun Prasad, the plot revolves around a kickboxer who is viciously attacked by his adversaries, leaving him bedridden. In a determined effort to fulfill his brother's dream of winning the kickboxing championship, his sibling steps up to take his place. This action-packed story resonated with audiences, leading the film to achieve a hit status under P.A. Arun Prasad's direction. 30. Shah Jahan, 2001 <laughs> In the 2001 film Shah Jahan, directed by K.S. Ravi, Ashok is known as the go-to person for love advice, and he assists Raja in winning the heart of the girl he loves. However, he later discovers that the same girl, Uma, is the one he himself is deeply in love with. Despite its intriguing plot, the film received an average reception from audiences and critics. 31. Tamizian, 2002 In the 2002 film Tamizian, directed by Abdul Majith, 
A carefree young man who works as a junior lawyer undergoes a transformation into an honest lawyer. His newfound purpose is to seek justice and avenge his sister and brother-in-law by ensuring that the villains face the consequences of their actions through legal means, rather than resorting to vigilantism. Despite its compelling premise, the film received an average reception from audiences and critics. 32, Youth, 2002 in the 2002 film Youth, directed by Vincent Selva, Shiva experiences heartbreak when he is rejected on his wedding day. He subsequently relocates to Chennai, where he falls in love with Sondhya. However, despite his affection, Sondhya does not share the same feelings and becomes engaged to Pratop. This engaging romantic drama resonated with audiences, leading the film to achieve a hit status under Vincent Selva's direction. 33, Pagavathi, 2002. In the 2002 film Pagavathi, directed by Venkatesh, Bhagavati, a tea vendor, harbors ambitious dreams for his younger brother, Gunna. Tragically, Gunna loses his life due to a conflict with his girlfriend's father, who is unaware of his daughter's pregnancy. Despite its narrative, the film did not perform well at the box office and was considered a flop. 34, Varsigara, 2003 in the 2003 film Varsigara, directed by K. Selva Bharati, a young and educated unemployed man arrives to attend the wedding of his father's close friend's daughter. Over the course of the story, he successfully wins her heart, and eventually, they get married. Despite its narrative, the film received an average reception from audiences and critics. 35, Padilla Jitai, 2003 in the 2003 film Padilla Jitai, directed by Jagan, Sorathi is a brilliant and carefree young man who remains unaware of an astrologer's prediction that he will meet his demise at the age of 27. As the story unfolds, he finds himself in a conflict with Redia over a problematic land deal. Despite its intriguing premise, the film did not perform well at the box office and was considered a flop. 36, Tirumalai, 2003 In the 2003 film Tirumalai, directed by Romana, Tirumalai, a mechanic, finds himself in love with Sweta. Unfortunately, Sweta's father, who happens to own a TV channel, disapproves of their relationship. He seeks the assistance of Araju to create discord between the couple. Despite the challenges, this engaging story resonated strongly with audiences, leading the film to achieve a super-hit status under Romana's direction. 37, Adaya, 2004 In the 2004 film Adaya, directed by Ashagam Paramal, Adaya and Vasanti are deeply in love. However, when Adaya discovers that Vasanti is engaged to another person, he decides to move to another city. In this new location, he finds himself wrongly implicated in a crime. Vasanti, upon learning of his predicament, embarks on a mission to prove his innocence. Despite its plot, the film did not perform well at the box office and was considered an utter flop. 38, Gilly, 2004 Gilly, a 2004 film directed by Dharani, follows the story of Velu, an aspiring Kabaddi player who travels to Madurai to compete in a regional match. During his journey, he becomes a hero when he rescues Tana Lakshmi from Muthu Pandi, a powerful man determined to marry her against her wishes. Notably, Gilly was the first Tamil film to collect 50 crores at the box office, achieving blockbuster status and becoming a significant success under Dharani's direction. 39, Madhuri, 2004 
In the 2004 film Maduri, directed by Ahmed Hesh, the plot centers around an IAS officer who adopts a disguise as a vegetable vendor to apprehend a powerful criminal. Despite its intriguing premise, the film did not perform well at the box office and was considered a flop. 40. Sukran, 2005 In the 2005 film Sukran, directed by S. A. Chandrasekhar, the story revolves around college classmates Ravi and Sondhya, who are deeply in love with each other. However, Sondhya's malevolent stepmother is determined to marry her off to her uncle, a notorious rowdy, and she will go to great lengths to prevent their love from flourishing. Despite its narrative, the film did not perform well at the box office and was considered a flop under S. A. Chandrasekhar's direction. 41. Thirupachi, 2005 In the 2005 film Thirupachi, directed by Pararasu, the story follows Sivagiri, a blacksmith from a village, who travels to Chennai to visit his sister and her husband. Upon witnessing the city's unsafe conditions for common people, he takes it upon himself to address the issue. This action-packed narrative resonated strongly with audiences, leading the film to achieve blockbuster status under Pararasu's direction. 42, Seichian, 2005 In the 2005 film Seichian, directed by John Mahendran, the story revolves around a love triangle set on a college campus. Two young students find themselves trying to deny their feelings for each other. However, the arrival of a lecturer who has a soft spot for the boy adds a new dynamic to the situation. This romantic drama resonated with audiences, leading the film to achieve a hit status under John Mahendran's direction. 43, Sivakasi, 2005 In the 2005 film Sivakasi, directed by Pararasu, the plot centers around Muthapa, who flees his hometown due to conflicts with his brother. Upon returning years later, he discovers that his brother has brought ruin to their family. Driven by a desire for revenge, Muthapa embarks on a mission to set things right. This action-packed narrative struck a chord with audiences, ultimately leading the film to achieve super-hit status under Pararasu's direction. 44, Arti, 2006 in the 2006 film Arti, directed by Romana, the story revolves around a man who is determined to seek revenge against the person responsible for his family's murder. Along the way, he encounters a girl with a similar tragic history, and they join forces to pursue their shared goal. Despite its engaging premise, the film did not perform well at the box office and was considered a flop. 45, Pokiri, 2007 In the 2007 film Pokiri, directed by Prabhadeva, the story revolves around families, a professional killer for hire who takes on dirty jobs for money, all while keeping his personal life free of attachments. He has a girlfriend who loves him but despises his violent nature. However, as the plot unfolds, it raises questions about whether Thamiz is truly what he appears to be. Pokiri made history by becoming the first Tamil film to collect 75 crores at the box office, earning it blockbuster status under Prabhadeva's direction. 46, Azhagia Tamil Maghan, 2007 in the 2007 film Ashagia Tamil Makan, directed by Barathan, the story revolves around Guru, an MBA student who is diagnosed with ESP, extrasensory perception. Due to the accuracy of his visions, he flees to Mumbai when he foresees himself harming his girlfriend. However, his life takes a complicated turn when he discovers he is a lookalike who is a criminal. 
Despite its intriguing premise, the film did not perform well at the box office and was considered a flop. 47, Karuvi, 2008 In the 2008 film Karuvi, directed by Dharani, the story centers on Vitravel, a car racer who discovers that a notorious Malaysian gangster owes a substantial sum of money to his father. As he delves deeper into the situation, Vitravel realizes that his missing father may still be alive and held captive by the gangster. Despite its action-packed narrative, the film received an average reception from audiences and critics. 48, Vilu, 2009 In the 2009 film Vilu, directed by Prabhadeva, the plot revolves around Pukaz, a police officer on a mission to avenge the death of his father. His father, an honest army officer, was falsely accused and killed by corrupt army officers. Despite its action-packed storyline, the film did not perform well at the box office and was considered a flop. 49, Vatikarin, 2009 In the 2009 film Vatikarin, directed by Babu Sivan, the story follows Ravi, a student with aspirations of becoming a police officer. However, he becomes the target of a politician, leading him to adopt the identity of police Ravi and become a vigilante to seek justice. Despite its premise, the film received an above-average verdict, suggesting that it garnered a reasonable reception from audiences and critics under Babu Sivan's direction. 50, Sura, 2010 <laughs> In the 2010 film Sura, directed by S.P. Rajkumar, the plot revolves around Samathira Raja, a corrupt politician who attempts to unlawfully acquire the land of the villagers. Sura, a courageous and strong fisherman, takes it upon himself to stand up against this injustice. Despite its premise, the film did not perform well at the box office and was considered an utter flop. 51, Carvalin. 2011. In the 2011 film Carvalan, directed by Sadiq and Kaya Gauri Shankar, the story follows Mira, who pretends to call Bumi, her bodyguard, and pretends to be in love with him as a joke. However, complications arise when Bumi genuinely falls in love with her without realizing her true identity. This romantic comedy struck a chord with audiences and became a super hit, achieving significant success under the direction of Sadiq and K.R. Gauri Shankar. 52, Velayudam, 2011 In the 2011 film Velayudam, directed by Mohan Raja, the story revolves around a villager who unknowingly prevents several terrorist attacks in Chennai. A young journalist recognizes his potential and convinces him to assume the guise of a superhero to combat terrorism and corruption. This action-packed narrative resonated with audiences, and the film achieved a hit status under the direction of Mohan Raja. 53, Nanban, 2012 In the 2012 film Nanban, Directed by S. Shankar, the story unfolds a decade after college life. Two best friends and their former rival embark on a journey to find their third friend, uncovering some truths along the way. Notably, this film marked the first collaboration between director S. Shankar and Joseph Vijay. Nanban is a remake of the popular Hindi film Three Idiots and achieved blockbuster status, garnering significant success at the box office. 54, Thapaki, 2012 In the 2012 film Thapaki, directed by A.R. Miragados, the story follows an army captain on a mission to track down and dismantle a terrorist gang while deactivating the sleeper cells under its command. This action-packed thriller marked a significant milestone in Joseph Vijay's career, 
as it became his first film to collect 100 calls at the box office. Thapaki was not only the biggest blockbuster of the year but also a massive success, achieving blockbuster status under A.R. Muragado's direction. 55, Thaliva, 2013. In the 2013 film Thaliva, directed by A.L. V.J., the story revolves around a son who steps into his father's role and must emerge victorious in a challenging and violent battle before he can assume leadership. Despite its intriguing premise and Joseph V.J.'s performance, the film received an average verdict, indicating that it garnered a mixed reception from audiences and critics under A.L. V.J.'s direction. 56, Jilla. 2014. In the 2014 film Jilla, directed by R.T. Neeson, the story explores a bitter conflict within a powerful crime family. The son decides to defy his father's criminal ways and chooses to stand up for the law. This action-packed narrative resonated well with audiences, and the film achieved a super-hit status, indicating significant success under R.T. Neeson's direction. 57, Kathy, 2014 In the 2014 film Kathy, directed by A. R. Muragados, the story revolves around an escaped convict who becomes embroiled in a battle against a large corporation that seeks to seize a village's land due to a case of mistaken identity. This film marked Joseph Vijay's second collaboration with director A. R. Muragados and was his second film to cross the 100 crore mark at the box office. Kathy achieved blockbuster status, signifying its remarkable success under A. R. Muragados' direction. 58, Puli, 2015. In the 2015 film Puli, directed by Chimbu Devan, the story follows a virtuous soldier who endeavors to rescue people from the clutches of an evil queen and a power-hungry commander. Despite its ambitious storyline and star-studded cast, the film received a verdict of flop, indicating that it did not perform well at the box office and received mixed reviews from audiences and critics. 59, Derry, 2016. In the 2016 film Very, directed by Atlee, the story revolves around Joseph Caravilla, a man who will go to any lengths to protect his daughter when her life is threatened by a local gang. As he confronts this danger, his own dangerous past gradually resurfaces. Very marked Joseph Vijay's first collaboration with director Atlee and served as a comeback after the disappointing performance of Puli. Notably, it became his first film to cross the 150 crore mark at the box office and achieved blockbuster status, reaffirming his success in the industry. 60, Bairavar, 2017. In the 2017 film Bairavar, directed by Barathan, the story follows Bairavar, a courageous debt collector who confronts a violent criminal posing as a philanthropist in the field of education. The film received a hit verdict, indicating that it performed well at the box office and was generally well received by audiences. 61, Mersal, 2017. In the 2017 film Mersal, directed by Atlee, the story centers around a police officer who initially arrests a doctor for crimes against medical professionals but later discovers the true culprit. The narrative delves into themes of revenge, corruption, and magic. This film marked Joseph Vijay's second collaboration with director Atlee and was his first film to cross the 250 crore mark at the box office. However, it also faced controversies due to certain dialogues. Despite the controversies, Mersal was a blockbuster, indicating its immense success with audiences. 62, Saka, 2018. OMG 
In the 2018 film Saka, directed by A.R. Muragados, the story follows an N.I. businessman who discovers that his vote has been cast by someone else. He decides to investigate the matter, leading him to confront two corrupt politicians. This film marked Joseph Vijay's third collaboration with director A.R. Muragados and was his second film to cross the 250 crore mark at the box office. Similar to Mersal, Saka also faced political controversies and protests from certain parties. Despite the controversies, it achieved a super-hit status, indicating its strong performance at the box office. 63, Big Ill, 2019 in the 2019 film Big Ill, directed by Atli, the story revolves around Michael, who abandons his dream of becoming a footballer after his father's murder. However, he is convinced by a friend to coach a women's football team, which ultimately transforms his life. This film marked Joseph Vijay's third collaboration with director Atli and went on to become the highest-grossing Tamil film of the year, collecting 300 crores at the box office. Bigil achieved blockbuster status, solidifying its remarkable success. 64, Master, 2021 in the 2021 film Master, directed by Lokesh Kanagura, the story follows an alcoholic professor who is sent to a juvenile school, where he confronts a gangster who manipulates the school children for criminal activities. Starring Joseph Vijay and Vijay Sethupathi, the film received a blockbuster verdict, indicating that it was highly successful both critically and at the box office. Master garnered praise for its action, storytelling, and performances of the lead actors. 65, Beast, 2022 In the 2022 film Beast, directed by Nelson Dilip Kumar, the story revolves around a shopping mall in Chennai that gets hijacked by terrorists, holding visitors as hostages. Vera Rogovan, a spy who is also trapped in the mall, takes it upon himself to save the hostages by eliminating the terrorists. Starring Joseph Vijay and Pooja Hegde, the film received an above-average verdict, suggesting that it performed reasonably well but may not have reached the highest levels of critical or commercial success. 66, Varisu, 2023 in the 2023 film Varisu, directed by Vamshi Padapali, the story centers around Vijay Rajendran, a carefree and easygoing man. However, his life takes a drastic turn when his father becomes terminally ill, and he is thrust into the responsibility of managing his family's business empire. Starring Joseph Vijay and Rashmi Kamandana, the film received a mega blockbuster verdict, indicating that it achieved tremendous success both critically and at the box office. This verdict signifies that Varisu was a massive hit. 67, Leo 2023. Leo is an upcoming Indian Tamil language action thriller film, helmed by director Lokesh Kanagara. The screenplay has been co-written by Rathna Kumar and Diraj Vedi. This action-packed thriller features Vijay and Trisha Krishnan in the lead roles.